The Northern Forest Canoe Trail is a living reminder of when rivers are both highways and routes of communication. The trail is 740 miles of historic waterway and begins or ends in Fort Kent, Maine and travels through Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont, Quebec and ending or beginning in Old Forge, New York. Island Pond and also serves as the headwaters for both the Clyde and now Hagen rivers. I'm underneath now. Tim's there ahead of me. Can you see where they used to pull the canoes up? Right here. Right there? Yeah. Wow. Or well, maybe on that side. So both of these sides, there's a chamber in there as big as this one is here. Wow. Fascinating. Yeah. Normally, as we approach log dams and other obstacles in the river, we slow and check the area for our approach and then go through one person at a time, waiting to make sure each person safely gets through before the next person goes. When we know rapids are ahead, we stop before the rapids and scout the best way to go through the rapids. However, about four miles from our point in at Island Pond, I was the first person through one of the many fallen trees blocking the river, so we just assumed this was another block and my intent was to paddle clear of this obstacle and wait for my fellow paddlers. However, the fallen tree was on a bend, and when I made it through the barrier on the bend, I immediately found myself in Class 2 whitewater without a place to pull out and wait for the next paddler. Essentially, I was committed to what looked like Class 2 rapids with boulders and small drops, not really knowing how rough they were nor how long they would last. I was safely able to make it through this 200 yard set of rapids I, and as you will see next my friends did likewise but certainly soon enough they get these this clip for you well here are the rocks i just came through once we got off that log but wow it was quite a distance maybe two or three hundred feet to rapids like this all the way it was fun actually i've done john over. good job john Fantastic, nice job. Nice job. Super, super, super. Here comes Timothy. We never thought this was going to be like this coming down here, but here he is. Good job, Tim. Nice job. Looks good, very good. Good job. Great, what a nice paddle. What a nice paddle. And I can see John below, so John made it. Oops. Didn't get stuck on the rocks out there. Great job, Tim. <laughs> Pull off the rocks. Nice job. <laughs> Experienced paddle that did that one. Nice job, Tim. And Dundee should be coming along any second now. Here comes Dundee. Good job, Dundee. Everybody made it. Everybody made it. It was that was quite the surprise, isn't it? This area. We didn't know this was here. Great job. And Tim's getting to go through the tunnel. It's our halfway point for our trip for the day. And way up there, they left it earlier today. And it took us roughly one hour and 50 minutes to get from Five Mile Road down to 10 Mile Road. We are picking up the Clyde. We skipped yesterday because of the rain and went to Spectacle. And we're picking up at the 10 Mile Square put in where we put out on, uh, took out on Monday. Tim, you've been a lead person. What have you uh, thought of uh, the river? You... Oh, the river's flowing very fast and nice. You're doing more steering than paddling. In all the down trees, the river's wide enough to go around them or through them. So obstacles-wise, the, uh, the height of the river is really helping us with the rain. Looks like we're coming up on the Pensioner Pond. So it's 2.05. So it's three and a half hours took to get here. Take out at a pensioner. You can see the public access. 
and just to the bottom of the left of the sign in yellow and black is the Northern Forest Canoe Trail sign. John, this sort of reminds me of Lake Umbergog, which is part of the Northern Forest Canoe Trail too. We had heavy winds out there one of the times we paddled it. And Tim out there paddling reminded me of the Allagash. You cut right across Eagle Lake and heavy winds on the Allagash, so interesting. Memories of other sections of the Northern Forest Canoe Trail.